Welcome to Yas Marina Circuit for the running of the Volvo Challenge for race number two here of the NRL Exalta All Out Series season number one. But a little bit interesting for this race, we're going to have a standing start here. The only race on the schedule that will have a standing start. Here's our NRL test car, the NBSSN car, going to go around the racetrack here. You can see you want to get a nice entry here into turn one, hard on the brakes, because you got a lot of speed coming down that front straightaway, and come off of turn number one. Here you want to do a little bit of braking as well, some downshifting at the same time, and shift back up through the gears. Here you just want to let off the throttle, no need to be on the brakes. Let off, and then accelerate all the way down here to the chicane. You want to brake, and get back on the gas a little bit, and brake, and then let off here as you go through the chicane. But then you gotta worry about the hairpin here. It's so easy to overdrive this corner. So you get a nice low entry off the corner, or low exit. And then this is the long straightaway, your full throttle here. And then when you get to about right where those grandstands are gonna start, or right at that bridge actually, where you want to break for this slow corner slow couple of corners here as well actually come off of that corner you gotta this this straightaway here is sort of a corner as well this is where the f1 would start right there obviously a standing start for this race as you saw before and then another chicane. That's more of the S's actually here in Yas Marina. It's a lot of corners. But there's also those long straightaways. And you're going to head down here into this corner as well. You got a couple corners right here. Some left handers and some right handers. The right hander. Two right handers. And then two left handers. As you go under the hotel. You see right there under the hotel, they uh, they made it red here for the Exalta All Out Series because of the Exalta logo. And then you're going to come down here into the final two corners. Wanted to get on the brakes a lot here and accelerate off the corner. And then the last corner here coming up. Be sure not to go to pit road. We saw a few drivers do that by accident in practice because they've never been here. And then you come down the front straightaway to the start finish line. But on the pole, we have some road course ringers. Those drivers with the highest road course ratings. You got Riley Spurly Tube in the 44, who crashed out last week to his outside, is Zachary Fitzwater in the 07. You got Joe Redkowski and William Brock. And then his teammate Walker Davis running out to the top five in the 34. You got Max Anderson, Kashawn Richardson, Code Luigi, Nolan Rempel. And Max Rossi rounding out the top 10. Take it through the rest of your starting lineup for tonight's race. You got Marcus Sachi and Jay Jefferson, a couple teammates there. Evan Hunter and Connor Hurley. And Gatlin Downey and Ryan Johnson. Part time driver Damian Blue in the number 96, making his first start of the season. And Tawa Aziz. And then you got Brett Moma and Mitchell Collins. Luke Rainey, Zachary Costa, Roger Ray, and Kenny Moma. Cody Goforth and Jose Mills, Patrick Zyke, and John Andrews. And Richard Mendez, the part-time driver for FireClan Motors, and Alexander Rowe, William Buen, and Ashwin Boyd. Then Antonin Charlebois, who started on the pole last week at Homestead, and Vincent Vega, and Edwin Mendez, and Sebastian Kukawan, Austin Murray, and Carter Joey. Last week's winner, Mathis Wells, starting back here in 38th. Um, excuse me, 39th, and then Simon Bloomfield, and then the last row, Gary Barlow and Kyle Hunter, a couple teammates here. So Nexus Racing not doing very good. They have all three of their cars back here. But why don't we take you down trackside for your command? Driver, start your engines! 
Great command to get the engines fired here in the Yas Marinas. We're getting set for 17 laps, and it's a standing start. So once those drivers see the green light, and we're underway here in Yas Marina. In a turn one here for the first time, Riley Spurley to with a good jump. Four wide as they come off the corner. Spurly to about to a huge lead right now. Forgot to mention the pace car decides to go around the racetrack also, so they might run into him. But that's okay, they can go right through him. Into the chicane, Spurly tube. Now and down into the hairpin. Gonna watch the back here to see if we got any trouble. Four wide through the chicane. They somehow make that work. And down the long straightaway, Spurly Tube after a good lead here on lap one of 17. Rutkowski gets up to second, and Fitzwater is gonna fall back to third. We're doing our uh, international swing. So, our next race gonna be at, I think, Rockingham, UK. I'm not sure. I can't, I don't remember the schedule right now. I was gonna say coming to the line, but no, that's the F1 where they would start, I believe. And the other chicane now. The other end of the racetrack. Oh, Spurly Tube slides off! And also, the 29, Max Rossi getting really loose there. And Luke Rainey has damage. So Spurly Tube loses the lead. He's going to give it to the 5 of Joe Rutkowski. And we're going to go ahead and look at what happened to Luke Rainey. So here they are coming. This is down the long straightaway here. Sort of the back straightaway. Mitchell Collins is hard on the brakes, but Luke Rainey, he's thinking that they can still keep going. And at this point, it's just too late for him to react. He's going to run right into the back of the 10. That's going to give him a lot of damage there. So he might have to come to pit road and fix that. Also, a ton of damage to the back of the 10 of Mitchell Collins. But that's what happened to Luke Rainey. We're going to take you back live now. Anyways, here, as Rutkowski's coming into the final corners, they get a nice drive here. Final corner, and it's going to be the five leading lap number one. Spurly Tube's not going to come to pit road, and we have a caution on the speedway. We're going to have to see who it is. Not sure why there's a caution. Anyways, the yellow flag is out. And it could have been for the 38 of Carter Joey, because I don't know if he was back there before or not. But anyways, it was Joe Retkowski leading us to the yellow flag. And I believe the leaders have already taken it. Yes, they have, because the pace car is out there. I saw it. So, I'm going to see what happened here, and we'll be right back with the replay. So here they are, coming under the bridge. This is Mitchell Collins in the 10 you're watching right now. He's going to come down the track, almost like Connor Hurley isn't even there, and they're going to make contact. And Mitchell Collins is going to spin around. You're going to see right here, there's the contact. And Mitchell Collins is just going to go around. He locks the brakes up or locks the tires up, spins around, and it's just enough to bring out the caution. He actually does go uh, almost all the way around, so that's what brought out the caution here for the first time tonight. We're going to take you back live and then go to commercials. So we're back live here in Yas Marina. One thing I do want to point out is the fact that Luke Rainey did not come to pit road to fix the damage that he has on that race car. Unless... He might hear under caution, but anyways, it's Joe Rutkowski right now with the lead. Obviously, these guys 
They don't set it back up for a uh, standing, standing, standing restart, but he's, they just go green. So I'm gonna see here if Luke Rainey does, in fact come to pit road. Yes, he does. The 16's gonna come to pit road and fix that front end damage. I think he just didn't come to pit road the first time because the pits were uh, closed because of the caution. So Rainey's gonna have to fall to the fall to the back. Mitchell Collins is still out there on the racetrack. At the moment, you saw him go by right there. So I'm gonna put the left side tires on here for Luke Rainey. Head back around to the right side. We're going to have to see if they're going to take the hood off of the 16. And they do, and they're going to send them back out there like that. Also on pit road, Riley Spurly Tube in the 44. Possibly repairing damage. And yes, that's what they were doing. So, Joe Rutkowski has the lead currently. We'll be right back. We welcome you back here to Yas Marina Circuit for the running of the Volvo Challenge. We're going to be going green this time. Joe Redkowski is your race leader, followed by Zachary Fitzwater, Walker Davis, and then that is William Brock and Kashawn Richardson rounding out the top five. The pace car heads to pit road, or, well, it's already there. And green flags back in the air. On lap four of seventeen. Is the pace car coming okay. The pace car is gonna come back out onto the racetrack for some reason. Gonna... Oh, and it's gonna screw some of these guys. Because they're gonna try and avoid the pace car. have a crash. Well, is that the caution out now? No caution. We're still green. Looked like it was maybe between teammates. We're going to have to get a replay of that here in a moment. I really don't know why the pace car is still out on track. Anyways, Joe Rutkowski still has a nice lead over Fitzwater right now. And also, William Brock going to get up to third, getting around his teammate. But now that everybody's gotten by the pace car, we're going to have to review what happened. Okay, pace car. If you say so. We're going to go ahead and take a look at what happened to uh, Gary Barlow and Simon Bloomfield, I believe. Yes, yeah, so here they are. They just came off of turn three, I believe that is. Um, and Simon Bloomfield, he's ahead of the 86 at this point. I have to see if we can... Yeah, here's a better angle of it. You're going to see here. Bloomfield's going to slam on the brakes right in front of his teammate. They're going to hit right there. They make contact. And they're both going to go around... Now, I believe the 86 kept it off the wall, but the double zero is going to have a little bit of front end damage. Oh, so, same with the uh, the 86, as he got hit in the front right there as well. But, very interesting. That's going to be an inter interesting uh, driver's meeting on Sunday. But, that's what happened, but there was no caution for this incident. We're going to take you back live now. Back live here, Nias Marina. Joe Redkowski still has the lead. He's coming to start lap number five. Pace car still sitting there. I don't think he's going to end up screwing anyone up, but he really should have had a uh, better pace car placement. 
this track, but we have 13 laps to go here in the Yas Marina, and around goes the 38. That's going to bring out a caution. Carter Joey goes around. We have our second caution of the evening already. So I believe Rutkowski and them are still racing back to the line. I'd, I'd say the first car that probably took the caution would be the 64. So that would be sixth place. Yes. Oh yeah, he definitely took the caution already. Well, maybe not actually. Oh yeah, he did. Anyways, that's not that important though. Here's the pace car. That's not the front straightaway. I was going to say as they come down the front straightaway. They're still racing back to the caution. So if Rutkowski has some sort of issue here, not trying to jinx him or anything, he does! Into the wall! The five! Fitzwater out to the lead now. Rutkowski's going to fall back to third, maybe fourth. Decent. He has some damage now. So our uh, Australian road course ringer is out in front now. Rutkowski trying to get second place back. Not going to though, I don't think. No, it's going to be Fitzwater when they get back. Caution is out. And Fitzwater has the lead. Rutkowski into the back of the three. Not sure what that's all about. Just trying to make sure no one ran into anybody else. Anyways, Zachary Fitzwater for Mills Motorsports has the race lead under caution here. And, uh, Fitzy, you, you passed the pace car there. He's speeding up. I'm not sure what the 07's doing. And... Rutkowski and all these guys have s slowed down because they're waiting for the pace car. And Fitzwater's still going. So, Zachary Fitzwater, I don't know if he, could, if he sees the caution lights. He might not see them. He might still think it's green. But he had, he passed the pace car. The NRL officials are warning the 07 to slow down. They're telling him to wait for the pace car. These guys have all passed the pace car as well. Well, let's see. Roe hasn't. Fitzwater's not slowing down at all. This is weird. Well, maybe it's a good thing this track's only on a one-season schedule. Or one-season contract. Fitzwater's coming to the line now. And will this lap count? It does. And 
Fitzwater still isn't slowing down. He might lap these guys. Let's see, here's the pace car. I don't know why these guys are still racing. They are 27 seconds behind Fitzwater. They're 25 seconds behind Fitzwater. He's going to lap these guys. Now Patrick Syke, the 98 has slowed down. He's coming to pit road, actually. The lights are out on the pace car. Fitzwater's coming up to these guys. I think he's getting ready to move over. Now these four guys are going to lap down, okay. And that they they sped up again. They're back up to full speed. The pace car or no, sorry, that's Patrick Syke, not the pace car. Here's the pace car going through the chicane. Down to the hairpin. So, I really don't know what's going on anymore, but apparently this is, well, here he comes. I think he's coming to take the green. He's coming to pit road. Why is he coming to pit road? These guys come in. I really don't know what's happening anymore. Everyone's coming in. So, here's the pace car. Here's Patrick Zyke. He might be your leader. He's not a lap down. But no, there's no way the pace car is going to catch all these guys. Fitzwater is already coming back out, so. I am so confused right now. That's a good thing this track's only on a one-season on one contract. Because... Yeah, it doesn't seem like we're coming. We're gonna come back here next season. And the three is looking to pass Fitzwater right there. The base car is gone. And look here, these guys trying to merge back onto the racetrack. I don't know how well that's going to work. That's, no, that's not the final corner. William Brock. Looking to potentially get his lap back. He might get it here. Closing in on this 07. He's there. Not anymore, though. Patrick Zyke. The 98 car. Taking the green. 
is not the race leader, though. Your leader right now would be Fitzwater. Second place, Max Anderson, the 64. He's way behind. So, right now, it looks to be Fitzwater's race. This was looking pretty interesting at first. But, now... Unless the 07 has some sort of mechanical issue that puts him out of the race, I don't see anyone catching him. And this race was looking to be somewhat interesting. I mean, that what just happened was interesting. Because it's not gonna... It's going to make sure this track is not on the schedule next season is what's going to happen. Anderson gained four seconds on Fitzwater right there. If he can keep gaining four seconds every lap, he might get there. But obviously Fitzwater, one of our uh, road course ringers. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Here comes Fitzwater. See him right there. The pace car just noses it into the wall. Oh, well, at least... For the most part... Oh, well, not right here. At least contact MoMA and Luigi. I was going to say, we shouldn't be having any cautions, but... Maybe right here, these guys are pretty aggressive right now. Luigi's gonna have to merge back onto the racetrack here. Otherwise, with him running out there, it's gonna send him up into the wall, I believe. Or he's gonna run into the pace car. And he gets back onto the racetrack, though. He's running really high right now. Might stop. All right, good. You gotta merge back on the track. Where are you going? And Luigi tags the wall. Caution, of course. And Fitzwater slid off the track. I just realized that now, because he has damage. So we have another caution. Will, will they slow down for the pace car this time? They'd better. We're gonna have to see. Patrick Zyke's going to be the first driver to catch them. And right there, the leader, er, Max Anderson, gained four seconds once again. Here comes Zyke. He's coming to catch the pace car. We're going to have to see if he's going to slow down for it. Nope, he goes right by. Okay, we're going to have the same exact thing. Cool. Here's Luigi on pit road. Just repairing damage. So, it's almost like cautions aren't the thing. Also, someone who got off that was uh, Cody go fourth. Looks like maybe got off the racetrack. If 
Bird Slaughter is actually going pretty slow. He's gonna act, he's gonna have to come in and fix his damage though. And yeah, here comes the. Oh, he's staying out. And Fitzwater. Well, in all my years of doing NR offline, I've never seen anything like this. <coughs> Pardon me? Let's see how far behind Anderson was. Ah, he's back to 25 seconds, okay. Oh, that was close. Sean Richardson and Zachary Fitzwater. These guys here are on pit road now. I believe Anderson stayed out. Can I confirm he did? Yes, he did. And Fitzwater's pacing, finally. Anderson is going. Walker Davis is not pacing. That's why. Okay, so we're taking one to green, apparently. So they're actually gonna listen to the pace car now. <laughs> Watch Fitzwater come to pit road this time. Well, you saw last week what happened with Jay Jefferson, who's currently in eighth position. Pulled to pit road when we were taking the final restart. So he had some sort of problem on that race car. And it uh, turned out to be a tire failure, and that blew out the entire uh, right front quarter panel, or right front fender, so that's why he went to the garage. So we're going to be going green this time. So it's Fitzwater who's the leader, and look at this. Anderson is right there now. We only have two cars not on the lead lap, and that would be the 34 and the 5. But we're going to have to see if they can get their lap back. Pace car's in, but he's going to go back around, I think. Other car who slid off the racetrack, that was Austin Murray. I'm actually surprised we haven't seen a car blow up yet. I don't know what Kenny Moma's doing. He's on the inside of Roger Ray. Anyways, we are green once again here in Yas Marina. But probably not going to be the last time we go green. Anderson to the outside of Rutkowski looking to try and get, uh, get around him because he's a lap car. But right now with Fitzwater having that damage, that might give Anderson an, an advantage. Here's the pace car. Fitzwater gets by. Anderson gets by. To the outside of Rutkowski. Not going to get around him yet. Pace car decides to go through Max Anderson, but okay. Hoping everybody gets by. There's Patrick Zyke, who slid off apparently. Anderson still has not gotten around the five. And William Brock might have a problem. He's 
around in that lower line, but now he gets back out there. Okay. Coming around to five laps to go. We have a car blowing up! And that is Brett Moma in the four. If he can make it back around without stopping, then that would be great. I hope he does. Let him go. And where's a caution? I don't know who it was for. Might have been Max Anderson. Anyways, we have another caution. The force still going. So it couldn't have been for Brett Boma. It's very unfortunate for the four. Super Moma Bros Racing. Thought they brought a good car here to Yas Marina, but unfortunately the engine letting go on that car. They have a car coming up here road, and that's Sebastian Kukalon. These guys might actually pace here this time. Well, this race has just... Just been very, very strange with uh, these guys not listening to the officials at all. I mean, it looks like the four is going to head to the garage. MoMA is done for the night. So we become... He's the first car out of this race. Also getting up to second now, Max Rossi in the 29. Oh, getting into the back of Rutkowski there. And Kukulon on pit road. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at what happened to bring out this caution here. So right here, Gatlin Downey in the 63 has some sort of problem with his race car. And he's going to stay high here on the race tra uh, racetrack. And as he comes through this corner, here comes the 11 of Evan Hunter, who has a big run. And Downey comes down the racetrack. Uh, I guess that's why his last name's Downey, because he comes down and gets into the 11. And they both spin around, and that's what happened to bring out this caution once again. So we're going to take you to a quick commercial break, and we'll be right back here for the restart. So we welcome you back here to Yas Marina Circuit for the running of the Volvo Challenge. Uh, this race has been a challenge to get through. But anyways, we're going green this time. Zachary Fitzwater is your race leader. Max Rossi is in second. Max Anderson is third. John Andrews is fourth. And Marcus Sachi is in fifth. And here they come. Sean Richardson at the tail end of the lead lap. But the green flag is back in the air. Fitzwater looking at the outside. Here comes Rossi. Rossi gets loose. Goes high. Here's the pace car. Gonna come out right in front of second place, of course. Right now, Kashan Richardson very fast. And we, there's trouble for the three of William Brock. He was trying to catch up, but that is not a yellow flag. We're still green here on lap 15, and I doubt this race is going to finish under green. And Rutkowski is going to get the position here. So that's for 41st, I believe. Oh, that would be, be for uh, 39th. Also, Sebastian Kukulon out of this race for a valve issue. So... That's, that's not too good. Battle for second here. Max Rossi, Max Anderson. The Max and Max show. And it's going to go to Max Rossi. Now we're just going to have to see if there is a caution. I would not be surprised if there is. 
considering what's happened in this race. Fitzwater almost lost it right there. Whoa, Max Anderson way off the racetrack. And there's the pace car. Fitzwater, way off the racetrack. This is going to allow the 29 to catch. Fitzwater slow. Now back up to speed. Could he be coming to pit road? He stays out. We're coming to two laps to go. Fitzwater still out in front. Gained some time on Rossi. Trouble for the 28. Connor Hurley. That's not very important right now. Right now, it's the battle. Uh, well, it's the focus for the lead right now. It's also a focus on whether or not we're going to randomly have a caution again. And look at this. Rossi out of line. He looked pretty slow right there. If these guys can get to the white flag, they're coming back no matter what. Fitzwater around the pace car. Hurley to pit road. We'll have to see what the issue is here on the 28. He's going to stay on track. They're just going to change right side tires only. Here's hoping Fitzwater can get to the line. Because if he does, the race is official. Also, Rossi's going to have to hope that Fitzwater has some sort of issue. Walker Davis off the track right there. And Sachi into the wall. No caution. Hurley still on pit road. Fitzwater takes the corner wide. Not as wide as the 29. Hurley coming back out onto the track. So they go underground here. And here he comes. White flag in the air. One lap to go. Presented by Credit One Bank here in Yas Marina. The race is official. And he's got a huge lead. About three seconds. Almost three and a half seconds. Back to Max Rossi. As long as Fitzwater doesn't have some sort of problem, he's got the race locked up. This is unfortunate to say, but this is our longest green flag run of the night. Battle here for... Uh, that would be the fifth position between teammates, Sachi and Jefferson. Sachi, the team owner... Both champions. Actually, all of Sachi performance. Uh, every driver on that team has an NROL championship to their name. And they all came in my series. So That's pretty cool. And Fitzwater off the corner there. Not sure what the problem was there on Hurley. But I believe he's still on the lead lap. He is. I don't see Rossi being able to catch. Unless Fitzwater slides here through the corner. Gets really loose. And around goes the 29 and the 34. Up into the tires. Anderson the second. And Fitzwater's got it locked up. It's safe to say now that Fitzwater's going to win it. 
Unless he has some sort of mechanical failure. Which could make him slower than Max Anderson. He's got it. Rossi actually trying to come back. On the outside of Walker Davis right now. But right now. For the millionth time it seems like in his NR career. Fitzwater is going to come into the final corner. And down the front straightaway. Zachary Fitzwater is going to win here in Yas Marina. Anderson is going to get second. Andrews third. Rossi fourth. And Sachi get, gets fifth over Jefferson. Look, Grainy. After having... Oh, someone blown up. That's Mathis Wells in the 0-3. Last race's winner, last week's winner, blowing up across the line. He's going to finish 24th. I believe he was top 20 at the moment when he blew up. But it's Zachary Fitzwater in the 07. Going to go to victory lane here in Yas Marina. Wins race number one of our European swing. This race was definitely uh, something else, but I can almost guarantee you we aren't coming back here next season. And Austin Murray, oh, he's on pit road. There's Wells, who blew up at the line. This could this is for position, I believe. The 48 and 28. And the 15 out of tire issue. This could be close here for uh oh, never mind. You gotta add. And I believe the three might have gone off again. Definitely another race that Scoot Racing's gonna wanna forget. Here comes Hurley, across the line. He's the last car to finish. But it's Zachary Fitzwater taking home the victory. You're gonna see your race results here on your screen with Fitzwater finishing first. Max Anderson got second, John Andrews third. Max Rossi ends up fourth, and Marcus Sachi with a top five finish here in Yas Marina. You're going to take a look at your point standings here after race number two. You can see where your driver or drivers are in the points currently. And you're going to look at your rookie of the year standings. So... We're going to head down and uh, watch Zachary Fitzwater, who uh, already went to the garage. Maybe he forgot that he has to do burnouts, but we're going to see him do his burnouts here in Yas Marina. And then we'll see Well, what, whatever happens next. I don't know what's going to happen next, but we'll see what's going to happen. And now here comes Zachary Fitzwater Sr. to do his burnouts here in Yas Marina. The winner of the Volvo Challenge. Volvo not winning this race, but it was a Chevrolet. So, he gets, in theory, Mills Motorsports their second win of the season. Because Jose Mills, the team owner, won the uh, the Granger shootout earlier, uh, two weeks ago. But Fitzwater burning it down here in Abu Dhabi. But probably for the last time here in the NRL that he'll be doing it at this racetrack. Um, this track not planned to return. We're going to have to see what's going to happen because remember earlier on in the race, the NRL officials were uh, yelling at him to uh, slow down the pace. They were actually yelling at everybody, it seems like. 
I think he just blew second gear. But, uh, oh well. Uh, but yeah, so we're gonna have to see whether or not this win is going to stand. Fitzman is just gonna stop it here at the line. Or pretty close to the line. But, um, yeah, so thank you all for watching, and we'll see you next week at Rockingham, UK. Um, and I don't know where Fitzwater's going, but on behalf of Carter Friesen and the NBSSN, I'll see you guys next time. Bye for now.